Okay, so Pi News episode 26. Uh, I'm still working on the light gun games with uh, Recall Box, and I've also downloaded the Pistolero image, uh, the Keo Deacon's image from Arcade Punks to have a play around with. And uh, there's a bit more configuration than I thought there would be with the Dolphin Bar. And you can see on the top of my monitor, I've got my Dolphin Bar temporarily blue tacked on uh, to see how well it works. But uh, I'll come round to that in a later video. Anyway, let's get on with Pi News. Okay, so I'm using Twister OS, which I usually use for Pi News. It's my main operating system on the Pi. Uh, and remember this logo, uh, because in the next story, Twister OS Pi 4 Ice Tower Cases. So Tup Manka Lanks uh, on YouTube. Uh, I've covered some of his videos before. Makes some really, really nice Raspberry Pi cases and loads of attention to detail. Love the videos because he really goes into all the fittings and uh, how some things might not marry up and how he's overcome that. It's, it's really, really well done. Loads and loads of time in this. And my favorite OS now has a custom case. Uh, and if we go through, uh, I won't play the video because obviously you can watch that on the channel. This will be a slightly better close up of the logo. You can see all the connections are nice and accessible. Uh, and it's kept cool with an ice tower cooler, uh, which you can see here. There's various different boards. It's M.2 and NVMe compatible. Uh, so the cases, obviously, you have to buy the separate board to be able to do that. But uh, loads and loads of detail in there, definitely worth checking out. Next up, uh, you can make a custom controller, uh, a USB controller, with a Raspberry Pi Pico. And this is a story on the official Raspberry Pi website. Uh, and if we scroll down, you can see it's in this little box that opens up. Uh, and you've got the four buttons there with a, an arcade stick. Uh, and all the details are in there. So uh, the way everything is connected, all the wiring, you can see the Pico there with all the cables connected to it. And the little micro switches, all the soldering, all the detail is in there and it just looks really good. So you can make a completely custom controller. One thing I would definitely like would be uh, a dial controller. So original Atari games, uh, I used to play uh, the driving game with uh, a dial controller with just a button for accelerate and uh, also the arcade game Tron uh, works with a dial uh, so that's how you do a lot of the aiming and I'd really like to uh, investigate that in the future but this may be a way around it. Next one up, some really nice uh, rendered images here. Uh, so this is a command module for tablet uh, and as you can see if we flick through uh, it pretty much looks like uh, an older smartphone really, um, but nice and neat. You can see there's a fan in there. It's obviously not smartphone size because this is the command for board. So you can, you can kind of work out the scale from that. So definitely like to see that when that's all finished. Cool bit of work here, something that I don't particularly need, but uh, it might work for some people's other projects. So uh, this is in Tom's hardware. Developer finds eight extra GPIO pins on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, and so they've managed to power a fan without using the existing GPIO pins. So if you're using them for something else, uh, then it keeps it spare. Oh, it's this bit here. Yeah, so this is connected to the board in a different place. Uh, and it's using the, I think it was something to do with the Bluetooth uh, and also the camera connections. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's an interesting read if you're looking to do something like that. Definitely thinking out the box. Next up is, uh, you see a lot of these um, Raspberry Pi projects where uh, people make a mirror, uh, like a smart mirror. So it's got various functionality and gives you things like weather and so on. And uh, I think they look cool. It's not something that, that particularly interests me to do, but uh, I like what people have done with it. A lot of people have done it and gifted it to people. And uh, it's just, there's some nice stories online about that. But uh, this is an original iPad 1. Uh, and so an original iPad 1 wouldn't be much use now um, because the software is, is so out of date. And so the fact that they've used that display in that mirror and the fact that they've been able to hook it up is, uh, is really impressive. Uh, we can see it's got uh, bus 24 at bus times. And then there's a quote from Napoleon Bonaparte, the best cure for the body is a quiet mind. Here we go. I had an old broken iPad 1 knocking around, so I thought I would do something with it. I pulled out the screen and hooked it up to my Pi Zero, and it works really well. I made a video about the build here. So there is a YouTube video on it as well. So I'll link this Reddit story so you can have a look at that video and see how it was all put together. I'll definitely be watching that. 
This one, and I keep thinking about doing something with um, with the Pi and the camera. I've done a few videos about cameras before, but uh, certainly something, well, this is time-lapse uh, photography, so I'll show a tiny bit of the video, but I won't show all of it, uh, but you can see the flowers are growing, or the plants are growing, uh, and uh, they talk about the duration and things, so at four days, one image per 10 minutes. I think I originally had a frame rate at 30 and then sped it up 1.5 times. So uh, I'd, I'd be interested to try something like that. But I was also thinking of, so I was having a conversation with someone at work about they've got a ring doorbell, but they pay a subscription to be able to access some of the videos and, and save things. And I wondered if you do that with a Pi and the Pi camera uh, and connect it up to a network, there wouldn't be any reason for subscription because you would own all of the content and uh, you know you could upload it to cloud services. So it might be something I'll look into in the future, but, uh, but just, yeah, Looks really nice. I think it's mesmerizing to see plants grow. Not in real time though. Next up is PySafe. I did a video on this about backing up SD cards and uh, it looks like there's been an update because in the comments recently, this one here, how do you back up from an SSD? And I'd said at the time, uh, I had a different method because I've got another video uh, which is the method I've used. Richard Reed, who's the creator of this version said, uh, with the latest version, the SSD should show up as an option for backup. And if we go to the GitHub, you can see there, seven days ago, there was a version 1.02. So great to see that. And what I really like about it is, that, is how much it shrinks that image. So if you're backing up an image of an SD card or, or a USB device, uh, it makes it absolutely tiny, but it's also nice and quick to restore and it, and it kind of automates the whole process. So next one up, Johnny J Tav uh, contacted me recently and said, just received this email from DeskPi store. To me, it seems they are sending me an updated PCB board for my DeskPi. Uh, and I didn't hear anything and so my DeskPi Pro case and I really like the DeskPi Pro case it works really well for me but there were a few people in the comments who definitely had problems and uh, mine was like an early prototype they sent me a message and the message was I guess it must be in my downloads yeah this one here the new updated PCB board fixes following problems. The problem with USB booting, identifying SSDs, Wi-Fi interference issues, HDMI display problem, compatibility issues of wireless key and mouse. Uh, and so they're sending out to me, uh, so our resend items, a USB adapter, a daughter board, T-shaped isolation foam, and gift U-shaped bracket. So I look forward to seeing that, and uh, I'll be able to take it apart and uh, install those new bits and give it a test when they come through. Uh, it, it is a really nice looking case, got a power button on the front, got accessible buttons on the front as well um, and uh, various different things, full size HDMI's on the back. I really like it, as I say mine's worked perfectly well for me, not everybody has had that experience and so they've obviously addressed that and it looks like they're sending new things out to people who've already got cases. But this video was from when I put an NVMe drive inside mine. So I played around with it. I had an NVA. I've actually managed to burn out that NVMe board. And my son now has that NVMe drive uh, in his desktop computer. But uh, I had fun playing around with it at the time. It wasn't the DeskPi Pro case that, that burnt it out. It was me plugging in extra power, uh, thinking that that was me, going to give me better performance. But it, it ruined the board. <laughs> And last up, and uh, this was only 11 hours ago, this, uh, before I did Pi News, I, I checked because often what happens is I do a Pi News and then I find something has just been announced. Uh, this is a Mega Drive project uh, with, I think it was a Raspberry Pi 4. I can't see the details on here, um, but uh, actually we'll be able to see when we zoom into that one. It's got the cartridge, so the Pi is inside the Mega Drive, uh, and you can see there's USB sockets on the front. The cartridge is actually a display, and this displays the uh, can display the cartridge artwork while you're playing the game. I thought that was a really cool touch. Really, really like that. Uh, and if we skip on, always like to see videos of it inside. Oh, that's a video of it working. I guess I play a little bit of that, but you can. I'll put a link to this as well. You can see it's loading up information on that little screen as well. And if I skip on. Yeah, it must be a Pi 4 because it's got the micro HDMI's and that looks like a USB-C socket. Uh, and you can see there's a there's a powered hub in there. Here's the screen. Uh, lots of hot glue around these connections to make it nice and strong. There's some anchor power adapter or something there. And a close-up of cutting. But I really did like that image with the fact that that was the cartridge artwork. I just thought it was a really nice touch. Anyway, I hope all this helps. 
Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.